back to the second episode of the Wall of Ten Sports Center. I'm your host, Trent, and this is Sam. Today's episode will focus on Rectory's Fall Family Weekend, a time where your parents come to campus and meet with your teachers. We also have games and concerts scattered throughout the weekend for everyone to watch. We love coming to Fall Family Weekend. Probably our favorite part is the prison concert. Fall Family Weekend is going to have so much activity. We got up with Student Council President Ashma to see her views on the big weekend. My name is Carla, and today I'm here with Student Council President and varsity volleyball player, Ashma. Are you looking forward to this Fall Family Weekend? Yes, I'm very excited to see the prison concert and to see all the family faces on campus. Sounds really fun. How would you say your performance has been during this varsity volleyball season? I think I've been doing pretty good. We've all been applying our skills that we've learned in practice onto the court, and we have won all of our games so far, and today we're going to play Try match against Run Hall and Ethel Walker, which myself and the whole entire team is very excited about. Really fun, good luck. Is Student Council having something planned for this fall family weekend? Uh, we have a lot planned. We meet every Tuesday on Enrichment to talk about our new ideas, and I can't really say too much, so just stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you, Ashma. My favorite part of Fall Family Weekend is getting to eat the food that Chef Dave makes for us. What about you, Sam? Yeah, I agree. I think Chef Dave and his staff do a great job with making the food. This episode, we have a special segment with one of our junior reporters. Logan is here to recap of how our JT JV teams are doing this season. In the second game of the JV boys soccer season, they picked up their first one of the year in an action-packed thriller, 3-2 against Faye. Faye to the lead is off with a goal early, but Rector played really strong defensively for the rest of the game, only giving up two goals all game. At halftime, it's 1-1 and quickly becomes 2-1 with AJ O's second goal. Rectory scores one more goal to extend the lead to 3-1, and AJ's hat trick put Rectory on top for the rest of the game. The final score was 3-2 Rectory. The girls' JV volleyball team traveled to Faye for their season opener. They had an amazing game even though they did not win. They played really well and extended the set many times. This young team is showing some promise, and I look forward to seeing them play throughout the season. Go Rectory! Thanks, Logan, for the update. We are so happy to hear about our JV teams. This year, we have a new fall sport, flag football. Mr. Ames and Mr. Anderson lead the roster with 26 players. We talked to Mr. Ames about how he feels about this flag football season. What's up, guys? I'm here with flag football coach Mr. Ames. Mr. Ames, what are your thoughts about bringing flag football back to Rectory? Uh, very excited about bringing flag football back to Rectory. I think, uh, you know, when we, when we lost 11-man uh, football, I think um, there was a lot that we missed about it, but I think uh, bringing it back has uh, brought a new energy, so uh, really excited about the season. Nice. What are your hopes and expectations for this season? Um, you know, I want, uh, I, I want to generate a lot of interest in flag football. I want us to be obviously successful and I want kids, uh, the athletes who participate to get, um, have a great experience and, and some success as well. Nice. How did the first game go? Oh, the first game was unbelievable. So we went up to Beaver Country Day and, uh, it was a competitive game and it, it got close at one point, two points in fact, but, uh, we ended up uh, winning by a couple touchdowns, and we had several, um, several, several contributors and several amazing plays, including the, yours, <laughs> tipping the ball back to your, uh, uh, your buddy Gray there. So yes. it was great. Nice. Um, how dominant do you think our team will be compared to other schools? Uh, you know, Beaver Country Day was a test, although it, it ended up being a, a pretty solid win. But I think we're going to get a real test when we play uh, Woodstock Academy coming. So I think we'll be able to see where we fit in as far as, uh, um, you know, being competitive. I'm looking forward to it. What's your favorite part about coaching this team? Uh, my favorite part is, is taking um, athletes where they are um, and making them into flag football players. So... Um, athletes who maybe couldn't catch the ball so well or are now making catches and, and yeah. getting touchdowns and things like that. All, so. right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I play for flag football and it has been fun so far. Now on to our Wolfie Report with Zoe. Hey, Rector. Today I'm going to be giving a recap on the latest sports teams. Cross Country traveled to the Faye School to take on a great team of runners. From the jump, Faye had a fantastic team and started the race off strong. Jay and Nicholas followed behind, ending in 7th and 8th place. 
Ethan had an amazing run, finishing at 14th place. Great finish by Sue and Sasha as well. Holloway finished second for girls, having a great run as always. Great job to Rectory. Girls Soccer vs. Rembrook. Rectory's first home game was against Rembrook. After two previous wins, it was hard not to feel excited about this game. Rectory had some wide open shots, but unfortunately, the Rembrook goalie was experienced. Ending the first half with the score being 0-0, both teams were very excited going into the second half. Renbrook was able to get through Rectory's defense, scoring, making the game 1-0. Rebecca had four great saves in the goalie position. Unfortunately, Rectory did not win the game, with the final score being 1-0. Next, Girls Varsity Volleyball played Miss Porter's school on Wednesday the 28th. Although the girls expected Miss Porter's to be the hardest game of the season, we were able to keep a positive attitude in play. With Ashley F. in service position, Miss Porter's wasn't able to return a single ball for 12 points straight. Every player stayed focused and the girls were able to win 3-0. Typically, Rectory has bad luck on the second set, but Rectory girls were able to pull through. Moving on to boys' varsity soccer. With a strong first half, Rectory did a great job on communicating and passing the ball on the midfield. Steven did a good job on defense and had executing plays. Bumjan and Tristan did an excellent job on finding opening spaces. Southfield had a lucky break and was able to get a goal right before the first half. With a nice assist from Patricio, Marcella was able to get a goal. Sadly, it didn't count. With a one-handed save from Zane, Rectory tried their best to play to the fullest. Ultimately, the game ended at 2-0. Last but not least, flag footballs. First game of the season started off against Beaver Country Day. Rectory started off with solid defense. Unfortunately, Beaver was able to get an interception. Rectory would then go on to score 16 points, ending halftime at 16-0. In the second half, Beaver was able to score, but Rectory was able to score even more, ending the game at 32-14. I'm Zoe, and that's your Wolfie Report. Thanks for the information, Zoe. We are proud to see our sports season going off as planned, with big wins. Before we go, we would like to recognize some student athletes who have shown good sportsmanship, a positive attitude, improvement, and dedication to their sport. During the month of September, Rectory has had a few remarkable student athletes. Here are September's Players of the Week. Rowan, Tatum, Jada, and Lyndon from Girls Soccer, and Holloway, Jay, Nicholas, Nathaniel, and Kirzia from Cross Country. Congratulations to September's Players of the Week. See you next time. Wolves out.